we marked the chain on it, the grinder, and we right above the pin right there. See, this thing rubs everywhere. So, I mean, the only place you could do it was up there to mark it, and that's what we did. But, tell me how much time it would still take you to figure out where that where that master link is I was going to look at the tag Eric cuz I can't ever remember what those things who makes those things you can't it's just got Tiger Cat on it right there. It don't say that. Some serious steel in that machine right there. We're about to set Kevin up right here, and he's going to start processing right here. We got to get all this back down this way. You can see there's nothing standing except for just two or three dang trees. The rest of it's on the ground. And then we gotta come up this line right here. And then go that away. You saw them pines over there. What's over there ain't too ain't too bad through there. And look at the look at the dirt. It has just turned completely to powder. Look at the dust. Look at the dust over there where Derek's at. You see the cloud of it. So I'm gonna walk up here where uh, where we can overlook uh, Kevin and Derek. I got a little bit of time between trucks. We'll go up here. Stuff dries out quick and it gets wet quick too. It gets like, and if it was a rain on this now, you talking about a mess. And yeah, it, this would get bad for a little bit with the first little rain on it. It always cracks me up too when I'm around these machines like Kevin's moving and stuff. People say you need to grease those tracks. <laughs> those are, uh, those are non-sealed and lubed pins and bushings on those things. It's metal against metal, baby. And that's what happens when it gets real dry. When it's wet, it kind of keeps, uh, keeps the sound down to a minimum. It don't really make a lot of noise or anything, but well, when it gets dry like it is right now, ain't nothing you can do, you can't grease it. Ain't no grease sitting nowhere on that, on that undercarriage right there. It's just, like I said, it is what it is. I'm going around here where Derek's at when we watch him. We like probably, uh, let's see, this week and maybe next week, maybe not all of next week. And then what we'll be doing 
And that tree right there on a pull through delimmer and a regular loader, that right that tree right there is a nightmare for them to deal with. That processor just power on through it though. I think the line is sitting right here, I believe. I think it's road right here is on the line. You can hear the fan running on it. Yeah, I see the paint right there. It's paint on that tree right there. see that that discoloration that's called bluing right there it's from where that woods and dried out got that blue stain in it Look at that, there ain't nothing but just solid trees down <laughs> going in through there. All still attached to the daggone stumps. You see that yellow paint right there? On that oak. The way the paint works on uh this company that we're that we're working for and cutting on right now if you see two two lines of paint that means you're going on to the on to their property if you see one line of paint that means you're going off of the property so you got two lines right there and then there should be a tree right over there somewhere back this way there it is right there see it's got one one line of paint on it that means you're going off the property so it's just a easy way to kind of tell where you're at. So two lines you're coming on, one line you're going off. Oh, there's metal in that tree right there. I sure he sees it. I'm gonna walk up here. There's a, I just seen it. No, don't, don't cut this, okay. He knows it's there. I didn't want him to cut it. And see that, see that metal in that tree up there? He done seen it. Cause uh, boy, that a what the heck is this? That a jack up some cutter teeth? What you talking about? And then if he cuts it and, and it gets to Kevin, and Kevin don't see it, it'll mess up them knives on that uh, processor head too.
can't do that with a rubber tire cutter. If you are working this with a rubber tire cutter and a, and a skitter, let's say a Tiger Cat 630 or a John Deere 748, everybody knows what they are. You would just have to take the skitter and try to find the butts of these things and just try to tear them up out of the ground. Two or three of them at a time, carry them to the loaders, what you'd have to do. Most aggravating stuff you ever seen in your life, man. set of teeth that's on that disc right there are fixing to come off of it and we're going to replace the bolts too so i'm going to have a full set of teeth and bolts and i'm going to be giving them things away as keepsakes to uh to people through giveaways because they're they're heavy i mean they're huge and they're heavy i mean they're really cool So you can see this piece of metal right there. And then see it goes up. It's done growed in the tree. It's done been there so long now. There's a shooting house. You can come on back here if you want to. I'm between two of them. Chas in the back up here and grab that. Because what it does is he keeps it out of Derek's way. So he'll try to stay right with Derek. Of course, Derek can't get ahead of Chad in this stuff. It's impossible. So he'll run up here and grab it. And get it on out of his way. And then that'll open all that up for Derek right there. somebody with a lot of patience you can't do this right here <laughs> it's, it's, uh... see which way that dust is blowing I'm gonna get on the upwind side of it Chaz trying to help Derek. That's aggravating. He can see that big old root ball he's got picked up in there over there. Yes. Mm-mm-mm. This stuff make you want to do some drugs, man. He coming out with it, though. Here you come. Hit it, boy. And say the root balls get in the way. All that for them two trees. Nuts. Just think about this, can you imagine being a landowner? Say you owned 100 acres of land like this right here. Ready, mature timber, and uh, 
counting on it for a chunk of change, big chunk of change, maybe even a retirement. And all of a sudden, you get a tornado warning or a hurricane warning. And with under 24 hours, it's gone. Laid on the ground. Heart breaking. And you can't you can't do no insurance on this stuff or anything. I tell you what, whoever was hunting in that oak, they were way up. I see a strap way up in that tree. What the heck? They went way up in that thing. Just want to get y'all something good here. I think this is going to be a good one. So for a property owner, you can still log it like what we're doing on this right here. Here's where you lose as a property owner. You lose in the trees drying out. The trees are losing weight every day. And I mean they lose weight quick. A lot of weight. And then the logging rate is a lot higher to work this kind of stuff. It's like doing this right here is like almost, it's the same difference as swamp logging, like what uh, Bobby Goodson does compared to logging on just dry ground. It costs a lot more money to swamp log than it does this style of logging right here. So you're gonna lose uh, you're going to lose quite a lot of money that's going to go back to the logger because it's so painful trying to uh, get up where his money that the property owner could have put back in their pocket. But it all is Mother Nature. You can't, Mother Nature is always going to win. Always. I, I don't care. Uh, she is a beast, son. She is the ultimate beast. I'm going to show y'all what some of this looks like down through here. This is going uh, kind of out of Hamilton. See, tornado was going out of way, but all these trees right here are laying back opposite way. Look at all the debris piled up. And I mean, that's just what's along the road. I mean, look at them woods over there. Just completely tore down. Let's turn on this road right here. I mean, it just tore. Well, that's smaller wood over there too, man. They talking about tough to get up. I mean, bad. That's guy from the county right there. Hey, somebody been getting some wood out right there. That this backs up to what we're cutting. I mean, it's just. This old tornado here was uh, actually pretty wide. I mean, it's got a, it covered a big old path. I'm turning around now going back toward uh, McDuffie Cemetery Road. I'm just gonna show y'all. You see that 
house trailer right there the roof's completely gone off it it completely blew it off it's a truck the roof's in the woods right there see it in the woods but the roof and the whole back side of it is blowed out too gone see all the roof out in the woods mm. So I thought I was filming yesterday coming down through here, but I wasn't. So I'll film it in the morning going to the woods. This right here is not too bad, but I was going to show y'all this right here. This is a park, a little ball field park. There used to be two or three huge oak trees. You can see them in the pile right there. See the stumps of them right there? Man, it, it wiped, got every one of them right there gone i mean we'll get on up here and it gets a lot worse right on up here so if you'll look out across through there there's it's just twigs sticking up is all it is that's right where the tornado passed through and it's like that as far as you can see because if you look to the right you can see standing timber where it picks back up but uh, i'm just gonna let the camera run from here going forward it uh it completely wiped out the entire power system down through here they had to put up all new poles you can see see all the see what the trees look like over there we'll get up here in just a little bit and the houses pick up see and it just laid it down now these houses right here especially this one they had a metal building right here i got a car behind me now it flipped that camper over destroyed that metal building right there bunch of other stuff man it just tore up that, that church over there it got it in the cemetery That little white building right there, there was a house there and uh, the power was out in it. So they had a they had a candle burning and ended up catching half, burnt the entire house down. The whole house is gone now. That was after the storm hit. The house is okay. And then this is where we started cutting at right here. 